we were on holiday at, in uh, Nashville, going to visit our good friend who's passed on, uh, uh, Earl Hooks, was the director of uh, the art program at uh, Fisk University. Fisk University. Fisk, mm hmm And we always went to Nashville, always journeyed down there because he was there and Greg Ridley was there. He was at Tennessee State, teaching over at Tennessee State. And our doctor friend, Larry McNeil, who from here lived in Nashville, became a doctor in Nashville and has retired since, but still lives in Nashville. Anyway, so we always made our journey from Nashville to Chattanooga to Atlanta, whatever, what we were doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm at, at, at Earl's house, we're all hanging out, and Earl said, hey man, uh, did you get this letter? And he shows me this letter, and, he said, and, and it's, it's, it's for competition for Amistad Memorial. But the problem is the deadline was next week. After you saw the letter. After mm -hmm. I saw the letter. And I'm saying, no, man, I didn't see this. So I told Burn Dad, I said, babe, we got to go home. Because we were headed to Chattanooga. I said, I, I, I got to get something in on this deal, you know, put mm -hmm. something in. Well, long story short, we get back home. I put my letter together. I put some slides together of my works because I got Booker now and I got Joe Lewis now, you know, so at least I got something now public-wise they, they can mm -hmm. see. And so I submit. Well, weeks go by and more weeks go by. I don't hear anything because they had a deadline that they talked about. Submit the, the submission deadline, then they were going to review, then ultimately they were going to pick four or five people, I think it's said. And this is in Connecticut. This is right. in Connecticut. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 New Haven, Connecticut. And so it kind of wasn't following the program on the letter, as I say. So I told Bernard, I said, babe, can you call? Let's call and see. Maybe, uh, I mean, they normally tell you or send you a letter of regret, you know, we, we sorry, but uh, we've gone, you know, whatever. You didn't make the cut, you know, something like that, see. So she calls and, and, and the woman starts laughing on the phone. And she said, you know, your husband was the only one <laughs> That's submitted on time. The only one. Only one. So, my question then, well, if I'm the only one that submitted, don't I get the job? <laughs> no. <laughs> so they gotta let it back out again. So now we gotta wait till they pick some more people, and they pick some more people, and then we all had to come together or go up to the New Haven and meet the committee and go through the whole process, you know, of what this thing was all about.